that was number that was number ten. And number ten was a big deal. That was that was hard work in in August and September. That was that was a big thrill for us to be able to play number ten with quarter notes. Um, and then we moved on uh, because after a while they're like, you know, we got these notes. We, we want to play a song, Mr. Coon. So we get to play a fir first ever famous song. This one's called Hot Cross Buns. <laughs> We're rock stars now. <laughs> So it was in, in the month of September, we learned Jingle Bells. basic skills that are introduced and then after this, the skills are introduced they, they, they find songs that, that pair up nicely to, um, to, to, for the students to practice those skills in the context of a melody. So the next one um, at, at this part of the book was another holiday tune coincidentally. This is Good King Wenceslas.
going to take a leap forward in the book, and then we're going to come back to something at, on an earlier page later. We, we took a leap forward to a, to a new skill called eighth notes. We're going to play a tune called number 34. No, it's called Vile Them Cabbage Down. They sound pretty good, don't they? Yeah. students in back to, to rotate a little bit. They are what we call them multiple musicians. They have uh, a, a, a variety of jobs. Some, sometimes they're playing a bass drum or a snare drum or a practice pad or a mallet instrument for melody playing. So we try to rotate that so nobody is uh, just, just stuck on, on one thing or another. But that means we also have to be mindful of, of uh, budgeting time in for, for those transitions. We're going to continue to, uh, to a few songs that are a little bit more advanced uh, that we borrowed from another book. And um, one is uh, Verajaka, which is around for those uh, uh, kids. If, uh, kids out there you probably did something like around when you're when you're younger. Multiple starting places, and it's it's kind of hard to keep it together. And we worked at it um, this morning, and we discovered with a with the two classes combined with over 100 on stage, it was it was pretty tricky to keep together. But they they really really tried hard, and they're tapping their feet, giving it their all. After that, we're going to do another familiar tune that you'll know. Um, Old MacDonald had a farm. It's going to be Old MacDonald had a band. It's a little bit more of a, a first ever full band arrangement. So in, in other, in, instead of everybody playing the same exact melody together, uh, some of the instruments are, are layered. Their parts are a little bit layered or, and, and maybe complement each other instead of perfectly match each other. And after that, we have uh, uh, just a, a little rock tune out of the book called Hard Rock Blues. After that, I'll talk you through a few more things uh, to, um, that are kind of a big deal for us uh, in, in our progression of, of skills. So we'd like to play it one time through all together.
Thank you. If you've ever been to a football game and seen a marching band, a great big marching band, and you listen and you sound like these guys over here are a slightly different part of the song than these guys over here, because distance, it's hard to do. And it happens, it's rare, but it happens. Well, uh, welcome to phasing in middle school beginner band. So uh, that was Farah Jaka. Please don't think for a second that they're not doing a good job. That's just a really hard skill for them. Uh, we're gonna move along to, to the next one called uh, Old McDonald had a band. Next tune is a just a little fun little rock tune. Thank you. Just trying to make sure I don't leave out important stuff and, and also make sure we have good transition time. Hey, I, I wanna, if you haven't already had a, a moment to look through the program, 
we're really lucky. We've had uh, a lot of folks to thank. I don't want to um, um, re repeat stuff that's already there for you to, to read, but we, we are very fortunate here to be supported by everybody around, from, from parents to our administrators to custodial staff, et cetera, et cetera. I'm really fortunate to work with Mr. Falk. You, you see, uh, helping to, to, to drive the bus from the back seat over there at all times. Sometimes they're resting, sometimes they're playing a background part, sometimes they're doing a melody. And uh, so this is a, it's a tune called Holiday Sampler, and it has little samples, little snippets of familiar holiday kinds of tunes. And uh, so this, this is a lot of fun for us to work on. This is Holiday Sampler. sound good. Yeah. Yeah. And this is why it's my favorite concert of the year. We, we, we start showcasing the very first note and we talk about all the, all the hard work that went in just, just for that skill way back in the beginning. And here we are now in, De in December and, and playing all these things and, and, uh, and, and having a good time. These, these folks are fun to work with day in, out, day in and day out. And, and before we open the curtain, I gave them a big compliment. I said, what, uh, what a treat it was to work with uh, a group of students who came in, and from the very first moment people walked in the door, they, they took care of business very professionally. They got to their seats, they sat quietly, they waited very very maturely, and it's, it's not like that every year. But, but here it is, this is, a, this is a really remarkable, cooperative, hardworking group of kids, and we, we're very proud of them. Thank you very much. Yeah. Did I mention ice cream? <laughs> ice cream would be a great idea. Or hot chocolate, it's kind of, kind of chilly tonight. Hey, uh, before we're done tonight, um, I would like to introduce our, our special guest for the evening. Mr. Swearingen is a friend of ours for, for a long time. I first met Mr. Swearingen when I was a student at Capital University, and, um, and, uh, and, and anybody uh, who's in the, in the music education business, especially instrumental music education business in the state of Ohio and beyond, knows the name Jim Swearingen. He's been a, a remarkable contributor to our profession. He's been very tireless in his uh, efforts to, to help, help teachers, students. He's written all kinds of great music. I could go on and on and on, but uh, uh, um, I, I just re really appreciate that he's, he's a friend and he's, he's with us tonight and, and he's had a real good time uh, working this morning with, with your students while they played a song that, that he wrote. So uh, a real treat to work with a, a composer, and, and especially somebody like Mr. Swearingen. If you like what you hear, uh, you're invited to come back again uh, later tonight. Tomorrow night we'll be doing more of Mr. Swearingen's music. Mr. Swearingen, would you come out, please?
Good evening. Good evening. What a special event tonight. I mean, uh, I missed the boat because I thought he told me he was going to play two numbers and then I was going to do the third number. We, we played three concerts in one here tonight with all the material from the books and everything. It's extremely exciting and I'm just glad to be part of it. Uh, you know, I ha I've had the opportunity to travel around the world and work with many young students, but uh, this has been very, very thrilling today for me. And uh, as Mr. Kuhn said, he's a former student of mine, and I will attest to set the record straight right now. He was a very, very good student and very serious about developing his craft. And Mr. Falk has been a longtime friend of mine, and we've done a lot of things with uh, community bands as far as exchanging concerts, and I have the utmost respect for him as well as the entire program here. So uh, I want to thank you for welcoming me here uh, to be part of this premier performance of this ensemble. Uh, uh, he asked me if I would tell you a few things about I was, I was going to say I've, I've written for the Ohio State Marching Band for 44 years. I've, uh, I've, I taught for 47 and a half years. Uh, but, and I do want to say this, uh, if, if you were like me, were you glued to the TV on Saturday around about 12 noon? Yeah. Yes. And, uh, yes, go box. And, uh, <laughs> and I can tell you, the pre-concert comments by Mr. Kuhn tonight couldn't have been any more intense than what Ryan Day told the team in the locker room before they went out of the field. <laughs> I mean, he was pounding his fist in it. We've got to get him in. You know, it was a marvelous sight to see. And the kids were just sitting on the edge of their seats, and they just couldn't wait to play for you. So without further ado, I'd like to present this tune called Heroes in Glory. It was written in 2007, and it's kind of a patriotic piece. It's uh, emblematic by what the title says, Heroes in Glory. And uh, I'm just so proud of how they performed today for me, and I'm hoping that you'll like this piece as well. Heroes and Glory. 